You guys, I'm walking on the beach. You see my mansion behind me? Uh, that could be your mansion too. I know what you're waiting for. But look at here. I'm walking on the beach in the morning before the sun rise. I'm still waiting for my selfie stick. Somebody talk to me. See the ocean there? You see me walking on the beach? I'm walking. You see me walking on the beach? Early morning. Early morning. What's up? Talk to me, you guys. Eh? This could be you too. You could be my neighbor walking on the beach with me this morning. But you're sitting in there, your concrete jungle. You're wasting modern day slavery lifestyle. I should make a t-shirt with that. That sounds like a t-shirt. Concrete jungle. Modern day slavery lifestyle. That's a t-shirt. I'm gonna make me one. You know I can make t-shirt, right? That's a t-shirt and a coffee mug. I'm gonna make it. And y'all gonna heat it up. Yes, it is. What's up you guys? So who's coming home? Look at the beautiful ocean. Eh? <laughs> Look at the beautiful ocean. Sit out here with a cup of coffee, your tea, your book, your Bible, whatever. You guys, early morning is about 720. Early morning walk on the beach. Hey, I need a selfie stick, you guys. I'll try my best. That's the best that I can do. Uh, early morning walk on the beach. What you say about that? And this could be you. I said, beloved, this could be you. This could be you. Who wants to join me on the beach? Who wants to join me on the beach? This could be you. Yeah, yeah, yes. Who wants to start my morning exercise? Walk and talk. Eh? Oh, it's uh, it's getting to be fall and winter time for you guys, eh? Never mind. Well, you can still walk and talk on your treadmill. Walk and talk in your neighborhood. Let's start our early morning walk and talk on the beach. Who wants to join me? 30 minutes to one hour walk and talk. We're going to start with 20 minutes. Go to 30 minutes. 40 minutes to hit one hour. Eh? We can start getting in shape now for the new year. We can start our new year's resolution now. What y'all think? I said, what y'all think? Here's my outdoor kitchen. Let me step back so you can get a better look. See the red dirt on the ground? We're going to use the red dirt or red mud. They call it dubbing. We're going to build a mud kitchen. See the form of my kitchen? It's a pretty big kitchen. It's my little entertainment area. That's why I call it kitchen garden. You see those chickens? I'm going to deal with them. Yes, they were in my garden. I had to chase them off. So looky here, you guys. It's my outdoor kitchen here. So we'll, we'll dub it with the mud. Then when the mud dry, we'll plaster it with cement and paint it nice. My kitchen will be nice and cool. So when it's a little bit warm out here during the dry season, you can sit inside. The mud will be like an insulation for the cold or for the heat. Be nice and cold. You see the um, design we're doing over here? You see all them sticks? You see why the sticks stop here? Because from here to the roof, I'm putting net. Is it net? Screen, excuse me. <laughs> net screen, what's the difference? <clears throat> I'm putting screen. So you see that where the sticks stop, the dubbing, that way the dubbing will stop. So we'll dub from the ground to where those short, short sticks are. And then we'll stop there. And then we'll put net. We'll put screen. Me and my net today. We'll put screen from here to the top. From where all the sticks, all these short sticks, you see where the sticks we're going to dub. From the ground, and we'll stop in the dubbing here, and then from here to the roof, we'll put in net. We'll put in screens. You gotta have chicken net for my chicken house, so I got net on my mind. So we're gonna put screens all around. So when you're cooking, because I noticed on the beach, there's a lot of flies. 
you know, they say it's, on, it's normal for the coastline. I didn't know that. Now I know that. Mm. So any kind of poach I'm doing now, or any outdoor thing, I have to put net. I have to put screens. So the whole kitchen will be dubbed, and then from from that, where the sticks, the short sticks stop the roof. Right before we get to the roof, we're going to put screens all the way around. So you can sit inside when you're cooking, so at least... For that, that would be like our form of ventilation also and air circulation also. So this is the kitchen. It's the size of the kitchen. I think it's at 14 by 13. So, so it's a pretty good size. Then I told him in the front to make it shorter. To make it a little bit shorter in the front. Because when you sit down to look at the ocean, if you have those high sticks and you sit down, you won't be able to see. Because what, is, what the sticks are is what they're dubbing will stop meaning the mud the mud will stop here so it's okay for the sides the side of the kitchen but I told him for the front you see the difference I told him to make all the fronts short so when you sit down then you'll be able to see this beautiful ocean view this will be my door I think I'll have him to put a back door in the front door this will be my door you see my little children there this morning eating I have released them from the box, so now they are free to run around in the yard. And they think they own the yard. It's just packing all day. Somebody ate their mother. So now they think I'm their mother. They eat out of my hands. If I had anything in my hand, I called them to come running and eat out of my hand. <laughs> yes. So I can't eat them. I may have to sell them when they get big, but I can't eat them. Mm. Those of you who raise chickens and eat them, how do you do it? Help me out, please. I need help. Help her sister out. So this will be the door entrance. This is, this is the door to my outdoor kitchen. The ocean is behind me. So I'm walking. See, my kitchen is big. It's a good size kitchen, if you ask me. It's a pretty big size kitchen. So what I'm thinking, where this bench is, or this thing he made to stand on, scaffold or whatever, I think we'll bring it we'll bring it up a little further and then that's where my kitchen sink. So all my my kitchen sink, my cooking stuff, when I'm cooking in the kitchen, this is the view I'll be watching. Yes. So my my charcoal grill, my cook pot, and any other cooking thing, kitchen sink, everything, I'll be facing the ocean, watching dishes facing the ocean, cooking, I'll be looking at the ocean view. Then I want to put like a I'm thinking of build like a bar stool area or something for entertainment. This is my little entertainment area too when I have guests over. We can see if it's, if it's too hot to cook. We can be sitting inside here to eat, have a conversation up in here. They're going to be with a thatched roof. So once they start the dubbing, I will do some more video. Let me know your opinion. You see this thatch fence is to cover and to protect my my kitchen garden from the ocean salt water sea breeze but i order i order um greenhouse from amazon so it'll come hopefully at the end of this year I will, I will tear this down so in front of my kitchen my outdoor kitchen i want to build me like maybe 10 uh touch area you know like the like the, the concept would be like the chair and the umbrella that we have in the states you know you have the umbrella the big umbrella and the chairs and the table but i want to build that with thatch and sticks so the guys will cut the sticks from the bush the big fat thick sticks put the stick in the middle we'll put a table or chair around it and then we'll have the thatch roof i want to have like 10 of those or maybe five 10 might be too much maybe five of those in front of my kitchen and around it for entertainment, well, whatever I do, I have to make sure I don't obstruct the ocean view. I just realized I have this big old coconut tree right in front of my kitchen. It's going to stay there. I'm not taking it out because it's been there for six months. So I'm not taking it out. It can stay there. I'm not going to disrupt. Let it stay there. That's the only thing I'll be in front of my kitchen, just coconut tree. That's it. So that's my outdoor kitchen right there going up. Mm-hmm. We have a back door and a front door. And for the door, I think I would just put like a screen door. 
But I want something that I can lack because I told my workers because they don't know how to keep things clean or neat. That's why I don't I buy their own stuff and give it to them because otherwise my spoons, my pots, my dishes gets missing, gets damaged. Nobody knows what happened to it. So I told them this kitchen, if I come and meet one dirty spoon in here, they can't use my kitchen forever and they can't cook on my land anymore because cleanliness is not part of their attributes. Seriously. The whole country is dirty and filthy. The people are dirty. Their behavior, their ways, dirty. Their attitude, dirty. Their mindset, dirty. They eat something, they drop in the street. Then they say the government is not cleaning up. I said the government told you to put that trash there, right? I have started my renting now.